The new Omicron coronavirus variant has now been reported in 57 countries, including Canada, the World Health Organization confirmed Wednesday. We expect that number to continue growing. And the WHO says certain features of Omicron, like its global spread and large number of mutations, suggests it could have a major impact on the course of the pandemic. Exactly what that impact will be is still difficult to know. The steps countries take today and in the coming days and weeks will determine how Omicron unfolds. Governments, he said, need to reassess their responses to COVID-19 now and speed up vaccinations to tackle Omicron, though it's too early to know how well existing shots will protect against the new variant. But early data from Pfizer show a third shot of its vaccine was able to neutralize Omicron in a lab test, while two doses may not be strong enough to prevent infection. The company's CEO telling the Today Show Wednesday. Three doses against Omicron are almost equivalent to the two doses effectiveness we had against the original variant. These are very good news, preliminary, because we are waiting to see more data, more accurate data. Two shots of the vaccine, though, may still protect against severe disease. That's according to Pfizer's early findings announced in a press release, which haven't yet undergone scientific review. The company says that an updated vaccine targeting Omicron could be ready by March. Other drug makers are also working to see how their shots protect against the variant that was first detected last month in southern Africa. While it's still too soon to draw firm conclusions, the WHO says preliminary info suggests Omicron is more transmissible, but causes milder disease than Delta. But a warning out of the UK. It's become increasingly clear that Omicron is growing much faster than the previous Delta variant, and it's spreading rapidly all around the world. The British PM says the UK is now seeing a growth in cases that mirrors the rapid increases seen in South Africa. South Africa is also seeing hospitalizations roughly doubling in a week, meaning that we can't yet assume that Omicron is less severe than previous variants. In response, England just announcing new COVID restrictions. And Britain and other countries around the world now really starting to ramp up their booster programs. But experts warn it could still be weeks until we get a better idea of what Omicron is all about. Melissa Duggan, City News.